Hi, Gary Hoover with a news item for you today. Uh, the Wall Street Journal has reported, this is on uh, Tuesday, June 14th, 2011, that J.C. Penney, a uh, famous old retail company, has picked a new CEO who will start here soon. His name's Ron Johnson. This is one of the biggest pieces of retail news I've seen in a long time. I've been a student of retailing since I was a little kid. I worked in retailing. I started a couple of retail chains. I love retailing. When I first started studying retailing, and in the 60s and 70s, there were three giant U.S. retailers, uh, general merchandise retailers, not supermarket chains, because those that's a separate field. But of the general merchandise retailers, the biggest in the world was a company called Sears Roebuck. The second biggest was a company called uh, J.C. Penney. And then there was another company that came from behind. It was called S.S. Kresge. They had dime stores like Woolworths, but they invented a new type of store. They didn't invent the discount store. They took the discount store idea invented by others, and they made a huge success out of it with a store called Kmart. And it became so successful, they renamed the company Kmart. So the giants were Sears, Penny, and Kmart. I worked on Wall Street, 1973 to 75, picking retail stocks as a young junior analyst working for Old Pro, who taught me everything I knew, a big chunk of it. And, and, and our three biggest holdings were Sears, Penny, and Kmart. They were great companies. By the 1980s and 1990s, they were tired. They'd lost their steam. They'd built these stores all over the country. People were used to them. They weren't remodeling and renewing them. They didn't have the latest ideas. They were young up-and-comers. Uh, uh, Target, which actually is about the same age as Kmart, but it was, um, in a way, it came up later. And Walmart, of course, and Best Buy, and, and go on and on. And, and the old guys were losing their steam. And the people running them, the boards of directors, uh, said, well, we've got to bring somebody new in. We've got to liven these things up. And the people running Sears picked, ended up in the hands of financial people, kind of Wall Street wheeler dealers. Not necessarily anything wrong with that. Some wheeler dealers are real smart. And actually, I think the, Sear, the guy that ended up in control of Sears was smart. But he didn't really understand retailing. And that company's been going downhill ever since he, he got there and took over. Uh, Kmart went bankrupt. It got so bad. But then that same guy, he bought control of it and merged it with, with Sears. And so it's called Sears Holdings. It's not in good shape. It doesn't have a great future. And it's actually much smaller, uh, somewhat smaller than Target alone is. And way, 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 way smaller, uh, like uh, around a tenth as big as Walmart. The third one, though, pennies was different. Because pennies, the directors were smart enough to say, if we're going to turn around a retail company, we need a retailer running it. We need somebody who understands how to energize this old, great old brand. Because James Cash Penny, that created the Penny Company, was a, just an amazing man. He believed in the golden rule. He took great care of all his people. He made partners out of all his store managers. Study the history. Go to, you can Google Gary Hoover Video Library. And, and uh, on that, if you Google that, you'll see a link to the McCombs Business School website for, at the University of Texas at Austin, where I worked a year ago as entrepreneur in residence. And, and scroll down, and you'll see uh, lectures I gave, very visual ones, on the histories of different industries. And one of them is the history of retailing. And I talk all about Mr. Sears and Mr. Penny and the rise of Kmart and all that. So if you want more background on it, an amazing company. But they said, no, we need a retailer. And they brought in this guy named Alan Questrom. And he turned that puppy around. And he went to Wall Street and said, and, and the bonds were selling or whatever, 30 cents on the dollar or whatever. The stock was way down. He said, look, it'll take me three years to have any impact on this company. So don't expect big results next quarter or the quarter after that or even late this year. It's going to take like three years. And Wall Street hated that. They can't deal with it. Oh, the stock dropped. The bonds went down. Well, he delivered on his promises. And the bonds came back. And the stock came back. And he began to rein, reinvigorate the company. And, and Penny's is now much, much far healthier and with a far more sustainable future than Sears or Kmart, by far. It's, got, it's a real competitive business, selling soft goods and apparel and everything to the masses, the middle market in America. They have this incredibly fierce, talented competitor called Kohl's. Another great company, TJX, that owns TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Phenomenal company. I talked about that company and their phenomenal profitability in one of my other little video clips that I got on YouTube here. Um, Still, they prospered, and they've, they've opened in smaller stores that are out uh, with their own parking lots, kind of like Kohl's, so they're easier to get in and out. And they've made a lot of progress, but it's been kind of up three steps and back one, and up three and back one, and they're, they're coming. But, and it was announced today they're hiring Ron Johnson as their new CEO. It blew me away. Who is Ron Johnson? Ron Johnson's a guy that went to Harvard Business School, and where did he go to work when he got out of Harvard Business School? Did he go to work for McKinsey and Company, Goldman Sachs? Those are all fine companies. No, he went to work for friggin' Target. 
This is a guy who loved retailing. And he got into it and he spent something like 18 years there. He rose to be like the chief merchant, picking all the goods or all the people working for him, picking all this stuff. The most important part of a great retail company. And, 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 and he got hired away from Target after all those years by a guy named Steve Jobs and said, let's create stores called Apple stores. And this guy Johnson started that and it's been like 10 years since he started that and he still runs it right up until like today. I guess maybe he'll stay there another month or two. I don't know. But until this announcement, because J.C. Penney just hired him as their CEO. He has to be. I've not met the man, but I can tell you from hanging out in his Target stores for years and years and hanging out in his Apple stores and observing him, he is one of America's greatest active uh, 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 retailers and entrepreneurial thinkers, because that goes right with it. So this is an amazing thing. Now, here's the thing. Will he take J.C. Penney to a whole new level? There is a long history of retail superstars, and really in every industry, cars and everything, where, hey, they've had a success and a success, and oh, they're like, they can't lose, and oh, this is the guy. And they go in and they bomb. They think it's too easy. Kmart, as it was heading towards bankruptcy, went through two or three great managers and guys with retail history, and they all failed. It was too hard. They didn't realize how hard it was. And so the thing is, how will he do? I think Penny's is fundamentally a solid company, and him coming into it is not a disaster. That's a big leg up over all those guys who try to go into Kmart. And then the other thing is the guy is obviously really good. So I'm rooting for them. I've been rooting for J.C. Penny for a long time. And it'll be interesting to see how it unfolds. It won't happen overnight. But if he takes that up like a whole nother level, and I'm not sure exactly how that'll play out, but if he brings all the skills he's got from Target and Apple and everything he's learned to all those great new J.C. Penny stores, it could really have an impact on the retail landscape. And I'm rooting for him, and I'm rooting for J.C. Penney. This is Gary Hoover. See you next time.